guessing you probably already have a pretty good idea on how to take it from here, but we're going to play with it just a little bit just to, just to make things interesting. Uh, so we're going to create our little photo blog, and the table format we had before really isn't the way that you'd want to do a blog, so I'm going to get rid of really all of this table stuff. So uh, instead of listing posts, I'm going to say photo blog and we can keep notice up there uh, but we don't need any of this table stuff and if you took my other course then you will have already seen how to integrate bootstrap because I'm not going to go into it on this course just because it takes a while and I've already done it there and there's plenty of resources on how to integrate that that's what will help you make it look pretty uh, this isn't a really a course designed for uh, design or anything like that. It's really meant specifically just for uh, uh, learning how to upload images and build a Rails app that handles media and files and things like that. So uh, we want to get rid of all anything having to do with the table. So I'm going to get rid of TR and then we're going to get rid of all of these TD items and there's a really nice way to do this in uh, Sublime. I'm just going to copy, hit paste, hit find all, and then delete, and then just do the same thing over here. Find all and delete. Okay, and instead of it having this explicit show button, I'm actually going to do link to and comma and just say post then I can get rid of this and I'm gonna put a little uh, little break between here and then after each item I'm gonna put a HR tag and this is going to be inside of a H2 like I said, this is not going to really be pretty. It's more just to show how you can implement it. And then you can put any design you want on it. So, okay, this should all work. Let's start up the server. And see what this looks like now. So I'm going to hit, uh, pull the browser up a little bit and hit back. Okay, so this is looking a lot better. So now if I do new post and say second post, come choose file, I'll pick out a different screenshot and I can pick one out here and add my really cool description. And then do create post. So it's uploading and everything's working on the show page. If I hit back, this is all working now, which is good. Uh, now, obviously this part right here isn't good yet because this isn't the way that we want to do it. So we want these images to, uh, to actually render. So last thing we'll do is just what we did before. So we'll, we can do post image and uh, you just could do URL and put all of this inside of a uh, an image tag. Uh, but remember, we also created that uh, call to tiny, if you remember. And so if you do tiny, uh, oh, sorry, put it in the wrong spot. That wouldn't be good. Uh, dot tiny, this is actually going to give us our nice little thumbnail. So if I come back, hit refresh. And you can see we have our thumbnails and uh, you can change the size of these to be however you want. This may be a little bit tiny for what you're wanting, uh, but I just wanted to show you can really do any type of extreme uh, that you want, you know, and you can move these around. So, uh, and actually there's a neat shortcut for that where you can do it in Sublime and there you go, and you can also, if you didn't want tiny, you could switch this to profile size, 
hit refresh and there you go you have your profile size images and these are all here and this is all working properly so if you followed along and these are all working great job uh, this is all uh, you know pretty pretty cool stuff and it's very practical I use this on pretty much a daily basis so you now know how to create a full uh, photo uploading and photo management system right into your application and in the next episode which is going to be the last one for uh, this module I'm going to show you how you can make these items clickable <laughs>